What is up, my shorties? Welcome back to another episode of Romanticizing My Everyday Life. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are not, welcome back. You already know what the deal is. You already know this is a daily vlog where we romanticize the mundane things in life and we keep it pushing because that's what we do, right? This week is very... First of all, how rude. So it's been a while since I recorded, and that is because life has been life, and baby girl, it has been lifing. Okay, when they say life be lifing, you already know what time it is. Um, but it's been a while because, like I said, life has been lifing, and I finally decided to get out of my funk and pick up the camera and record for you guys this week. So today is tuesday july 25th we have a lot planned today i have my makeup and hair done because i'm about to shoot some content it's been a really long time since i shot content because like i said life has been life in right i run that back life has been life in okay so now that we are up to speed we are doing some barbie content because the barbie movie came out it came out july 21st and i've been seeing the I have been seeing girls posting some real cute content so i was like you know what let me join the crew let me join the team so i put out my outfits let's go and see i'll show you guys what i have so the first outfit is a really sporty look right and we have a skirt from garage a top from express a cardigan from primark and some amazon glasses that i'm always rocking those are my favorite glasses um I guess that's not really a sporty look because this is more of a sporty look. I have these cargo pants from Pretty Little Thing, a crop top from Misguided, another pair of Amazon glasses that I absolutely love. Then over here we have a party look, which is just a linen skirt from H&M, bodysuit from Zara, and the hat from RB. Those are the outfits, the makeup is done. I tried to do like a really cute, lot of blush kind of look, very light lip, cute hairstyle with the flips at the end. So we are about to record, so let's get into it. The TikTok came out so freaking fire, like, bro, what a way to come back. What a way to come back. I've been on a hiatus for a long time, but baby, this TikTok video, I'm contemplating taking pictures in the outfits so I can post some looks, but baby, the way that this video, hold on, 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 hold on. Ow. I'm gonna post it for y'all. Y'all gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna insert it in um I'm gonna insert it in this video, but I'm sitting on the floor because I am tired. This was the last outfit. This was the sporty outfit. We had a we had a party Barbie, we had a Malibu Barbie, and we had a sporty Barbie outfit. I would say sporty Barbie with the sneakers and the cargo pants. Um but it came out really good. I'm so proud and I'm so happy that I decided to make my content today. Like I said, life has been life in and I haven't really had time to pick up the camera and do the things that I enjoy. Like I enjoy making content. I enjoy taking pictures. I have all of these big crazy ideas that I really want to put out there and just have fun with it. But because there's been so much going on, you know, I haven't had the time. So this morning, even though I had something to do, I said, you know what? Let me actually put time into this idea and actually execute it because I don't know when else I'm gonna have the time. I'm bringing this up to remind you guys because y'all know this is romanticizing your everyday life. Y'all know I say this all the time. Life is not romantic. Like there's a lot of things that happen to you in life that are not romantic find time to make things worth romanticizing like right now spending the day with myself spending the day making content like this is so like i'm so grateful for the opportunity to, to, to do this i'm so grateful for the time to do this you know it really makes me happy so 
even though there are things that are happening right now that kind of make me sad or upset or angry, I'm happy that I can spend this little moment of time enjoying something that I enjoy and record it for you guys. So take a lesson from me. And when you have to step away from all of the external factors that are going on and spend time with you, figure out what you like to do. If you like to play an instrument, if you like to write music, if you like to design, if you like to draw, spend time doing that and just enjoy it. Like there's such a beauty in being able to do something that you enjoy. So that's today's little TED talk. Today is Tuesday. It's not Monday sip and chat because yesterday I was busy doing a lot of stuff in my mom's house. Right now I'm trying to currently help my mom organize. If y'all don't know, oh, excuse me. Y'all, that's that kombucha. Let me show y'all. I've been drinking this kombucha because y'all know I have gut issues. Um, right now I'm pretty bloated, but that's because it's that time of the month. So I decided to try one of these kombuchas and this is the lemon ginger flavor and it is so spicy. Like, I know that's a crazy way to describe a drink, but it is spicy. Like, I didn't, I, I got this since like, I would say 12 o'clock, it's three o'clock now and I only got like right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I only got right there. That's because I can't drink it, but it's supposed to be really good for gut health. So I've been trying to drink it, but that's where that burp came from. If you, can, It's very carbonated. I don't know if you heard it when I opened it. Mm. I think it's the ginger. Most definitely the ginger. But it has detoxifying acids, living probiotics, natural antioxidants, and cold-pressed juice. So it's supposed to be really good for you. Your gut. Your gut. And you know, gut health is everything. As a nurse, I'm gonna tell you that. Gut health is everything. Gut health is for good skin, um, energy. If you you have like low energy, you need to focus on your gut health. If you have acne prone skin, you need to focus on your gut health. So get that gut together, baby. Like I was saying, I'm in the middle of organizing my mother's house. My mom has a much bigger place than me, so it has been a lot a lot a lot of work so my time has been preoccupied with work home and that so with that being said we are focusing on my home today and i have a little surprise for y'all today i ordered a rug from ruggable and i'm very excited to try it i don't know if you guys heard of ruggable ruggable is the washable um interchangeable rug it's good for pets kids um if you have spills on your carpet you could always just throw it in a wash if you like to change your carpet often you can always just rip off the top layer and put on a different pattern if you like to change up your aesthetic like pretty often like me i like to change up my aesthetic pretty often so it's nice to know that there's a rug that i can change whenever so we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna open that and we'll see what that is about i am finally back home it is now it's probably 5 15 and i have to take a quick lunch break i know we said all right guess what you want to say hi say hi say hi youtube look 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 say hi Anyway, so it is um, 5.15. I needed to take a food break. We're supposed to be doing the Ruggable review, but I need to eat something real quick. So I am, I just came back from Taco Bell. So I'm going to eat my Taco Bell. I am going to watch some Netflix and we will be back to do our Ruggable review. Say bye. It's finally time. I got my rubber ball. So we're gonna open it and see what it's hidden for. Rubber ball. Um, 
Before I open it, let me show you where it's going to go. This area right here, it used to have a nice area rug. It was so cute. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see my rug. It was just like really abstract, cute, aesthetic. But the dog been peeing on it, so I had to get rid of it and get a new rug. So that was the point of me getting the rug -a -bowl. As you can see, the space looks pretty empty without the rug. So we're going to add our little rug bowl now. I had two packages on the way. This was one of them. In the next video, I will show you what I was hoping that it would come today, but it didn't. But I'm really excited for that other package. I was actually excited for both, but I'm happy that this one came. So this is what it looks like. This is the part with the pattern that you can throw in the wash. So I'm just going to put that to the side for now. And this is the actual rug. I don't know. Alright, so before I do that, let me move the table out the way. So it says to roll up the cover rug with the design inside. So let's do that first. Okay. Position the rug pad grippy side down. You know what the more that i look at it the more that it's actually growing on me it's really cute i am going to post a code down below so you can order yours if you decide you wanted to try ruggable um i believe it's a 15 percent off coupon but you can always try down below i'm gonna post a tag look at it it's so pretty such a nice addition 